Good morning. Well, good morning and God bless your family. We're so grateful to join you today for this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. That means we are live on the conference line as well as on Periscope. I want to say good morning and God bless you. There is none like the lowly Jesus. I'm so excited to join you on this Wednesday morning. It seems like it's been forever and I miss my Periscope family. I learned that I need to read my shirt. So this one says own the moment. Moment. And that is what this scope is about this morning. It's about getting that and then some. That's what I heard the Lord say on this morning. It's about time for us to get that and then some. God has so many things in store and it's about owning the moment, not missing your moment, not missing the time and the seasons of God. And he has sent many of us here in this hour so you don't miss your moment. So you don't miss your time. You don't miss your opportunity. And so we're going to dive right into the word of God. I don't have a lot of preliminaries because it's not about me. It's your girl, Lady Jam here, and I'm so excited to join you, but it's not about me. Like I said, it's about the Word of God, and it's about you and what God wants to get to you, what He wants to get through you and out of your life in this hour. So, Lord, let the meditation of my heart and, and, and even the, the words of my lips be acceptable in their sight. Lord, let them be your words and not mine. In Jesus' name, amen. And so this morning, the Word of the Lord that we find is in 2 Kings chapter number 8. We're diving right in. Hallelujah today. Uh, uh, 2 Kings chapter number 8. We're going to start at verse 1. And the word of the Lord says, Now Elisha had said to the woman whose son he had restored to life, Go away with your family and stay for a while. And many of us have been in different places in our life and we are coming into the season where it seems like it's been inundated. It's taken such a long time. It's been a while. This woman is one that we've heard of before and Elisha had this connection with her and God will send people in your life. Some they say come for a season, some come for a reason and some come for a lifetime and there were different seasons in this woman's life where the man of God was there. There are times where where God has sent you voices that they've made announcements in your life. He will cause different ones to cross your paths at very integral moments in your life. And that's what happened for this woman. And he spoke unto her and he said, listen, this is what's going to go down. It's about to happen. Go away for a while. And I want to make an announcement to you. Many of you have found yourself in different places. What? For a while. And it says, go away wherever you can because the Lord has decreed a famine in the land that will last for seven years. Seven, 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 the number of perfection, the number of completion is going to happen for seven years. The woman proceeded to do as the man of God had said. She and her family went away and stayed in the land of the Philistines for seven years. She went away and I want to make an announcement to you today that, that, that everything that this woman, uh, 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 just because of her integrity, because of her heart for the man of God, this is the woman that we found who had built a room off of her house for the man of God whenever he was coming, passing through. And because of, of, of her heart and her ability to acknowledge, to see what the man of God needed, her whole family was blessed because she received an instruction for her to go away for a while because there was a famine coming. And many of you, because of your diligence, because of your heart, because of your recognition, God will allow your whole family to be spared. Your whole family has been saved because you stood in the gap, because you interceded, because you saw the need and you met the need, because you were faithful, because you didn't stop, because you didn't quit, because you didn't give up, and you heeded the instruction and you obeyed. Now, verse number three says, at the end of seven years, she came back from the land of the Philistines and went to appeal to the king for her house and her lamb at the end of the time and I want to make this announcement to many of you that that end of the time has come or is coming I, I was in we were in prayer yesterday for many of you that are joining us on Periscope we are live six days a week on the conference call line no matter what you can find the link in my bio so if I'm not on Periscope we're on the conference call so we were in uh, in the process of intercession and praying and I saw in a vision what I saw were uh, the horses and I saw the chariots 
of the Lord. And, and they were coming. I saw them and they were making haste. And they were coming to the aid of those who, who, who and, it's, and God says it, help is on the way. That's what he showed me. He said help is on the way. He allowed the horses, the chariots of God, and they are coming and they are coming quickly. They are not wasting time. You know, I, I, I heard the Lord say, you know, slack not thy bidding unless I bid you. Slack not thy writing unless I bid you. And this is the hour, this is the season where God is saying, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to move and don't slack your riding except he bids you. It's time for you to bust a move. It's time for you to be about your father's business with acceleration like never before in the name of Jesus. If you have been given a dream, if God has given you a vision, if he's given you an idea, now is the time to move on that thing because the angels of the Lord are, are hastening to come to your aid to push to make it happen in the name of Jesus. So I wanted to release that for somebody today because you have felt like you don't have enough. Maybe you didn't feel like you had enough together, but the Lord said help is already on the way. They are coming to your aid at such an accelerated speed at accelerated rate. And if you will get in this thing, hallelujah, you will ride it like never before. And you will ride into your destiny at an accelerated pace at a rate that you would never imagine. This is the, this is the hour for some that have already gone through their consecrated time. Like for this woman, she had already been away for seven years. And there are many of you, you've already been away for a while. You've been coming up on the rough side of the mountain. God has been making you on the back side of the mountain. And this is that time. This is that hour in Jesus name where God is calling for who he created you to be and not what this life has made you to be. Hello, somebody. That's a caveat, but we're going to get back to this part of the word of the Lord. And it says, at the end of the seven years, she came back from the land of the Philistines. And at the end, this is, we are at the end for many of you. This is the month of July. Hello, somebody, the seventh month represented her seven years. So maybe it hasn't been seven years for you, for, for you, but this is the seventh month. This can be your time for completion, your time that, 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 that a while has been met, that completion has been met. And, and the word of the Lord says, and she went to appeal to the king for her house and her land. There are some things that were rightfully yours. They were rightfully promised to you. God has spoken them. There are some things that belong to you and you had to leave them. You had to let it go. You had to move forward. You had to move on. It says in the word of the Lord that she came back and she went to appeal to the king for her house and her land. The king was talking to Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, and it said, tell me about all the great things Elisha had done. Listen here. Just as Gehazi was telling the king how Elisha had restored the dead to life, the woman whose son Elisha had brought back to life came to appeal to the king for her house and for her land. Can I tell you somebody like the Lord show me in the vision help is already on the way. There are people that God has already set up. They are already in position and God is causing them to make mention of you when you don't even realize God has spoken through his word. There were times where, where the king was sleeping and God put uh, the man of God on their mind God put the, the, the person of God on, on the man, uh, on the man of God's mind. Even with Mordecai, that have we forgotten to honor him? There are some of you that you have not received the honor that you were due. There were things that you did and you wasn't looking for nobody to give you a pat on the back. You did it because it was right. You did it because it was the thing to do. And God says that he is causing there to be people that are positioned in this hour. Hallelujah. That are speaking, that are speaking. And it's a setup there are some setups in the kingdom of God that God has already put in position but it is time for you to, to begin your journey back to where God is calling you it's time for you to begin your journey so that you can be in position so you can walk up just as they are making mention and it says in the word of God that Gehazi was talking to the king about what Elisha had done listen isn't that amazing how, how uh, uh, Elisha uh, uh, had done some things and, and because of what Elisha did and Gehazi was speaking well uh, of him to the king, how that was able to bless this woman of God and she walked in right on cue. I declare that there are many of you who will hear this word that will hear what the spirit is saying to the church and who will get in motion, get in position. You're going to find yourself walking in at the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. 
Lord. And it says just at the right time, she walked in. And it says the woman whose son Elijah had brought back to life came to appeal to the king for her house and for her land, what was rightfully hers. And then Gehazi said, this is the woman. Listen, this is the woman. This is the man. This is the one. Hallelujah. You are the one. You are the woman. You are the man. It says, my Lord, the king, and this is her son whom Elisha restored to life. The king asked the woman about it and she told him, listen, God is going to cause you to be in such a position while you're trying to figure out what am I going to say? I don't, you're trying to get everything together. Hallelujah. You're not even going to have to make the announcement. It's already going to be made for you. The king asked her and she ended up telling him all about it. Then he assigned, it says, an official to her case and said to him, give back everything that belonged to her. Listen, God is going to send somebody that is assigned especially to you in Jesus name in this hour because there are some kingdom movements, some kingdom shifts that God is doing. Hallelujah. And he's going to send the help that you need. Did you read that? It said God, hallelujah, allowed the king, the king, the king, the king, assign an official to her case. Hallelujah. And just as the Lord showed me in a vision where the angels were coming, the horses were coming, the chariots were coming, the help was coming. Hallelujah. Her help was there and it was assigned, especially to her. It was assigned, especially to her case. And it says, give her back everything that belonged to her, including all the income from her land from the day she left the country until now. That sounds like a that and then some to me. God is going to give you back that and then he's going to give you back and then some. There are some things that you have, you, you know, you went forward, you did the right thing and, and, and you weren't handled correctly or life just happened. The life just happened for this woman. Uh, you know, the famine hit the land, but God is going to take care of those that belong to him. Hallelujah. And it says in the word of God that she got back that and interest. Hallelujah. There's some things that you are going to be rendered in this hour, in this season, and you're going to get back that and then some in Jesus name. Hallelujah. You're about to get it back with interest. This is the woman. You are the woman. You are the man in the name of Jesus. Listen, isn't it amazing that her previous testimony is what led to her breakthrough even in this situation? There are some things that you've been through that God is allowed to happen in your life. Hallelujah. And even that testimony, even that divine connection is still going to serve you in this hour. It's going to serve you in this season so that you can be able to get back that and then some. But it wasn't just for her. She was a woman of God that would also take care of the man of God. She would take care uh, uh, of, of those. And because, hallelujah, you don't believe that your blessings are just for you. You're going to use them to serve the kingdom. God says that is the reason why I'm going to bless you with the that and the then some in Jesus name. He says, if I can keep it coming through you, I will keep it coming to you in the name of Jesus, because what God has for you is not just for you. It is for the building of the kingdom, which is at hand in Jesus name. Now, now is the hour. Now is the time where God says he is going to call the things to be set up for you. And so hear ye, hear ye the word of the Lord. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Lord is saying to the church in this hour. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that you would hear this even as a clarion call. Whatever God has instructed you, whatever he's birthed on the inside of you, for you to go and be about your father's business like never before in the name of Jesus. It, it's not corny. It's not out. You're looking, trying to see if you can mimic everybody else. And God is saying, I called you to be you. I called you to be unique. Oh, a mother used to tell us, she said, if everybody stay in their own lane, it won't be no wrecks. It won't be no accidents. The, what God has put inside of you, he's not looking for a duplicate or a carbon copy or for you to look like everybody else so your stuff don't have to look like everybody else's it doesn't have to be God has given you ideas he's given you inventions God has given you business ideas there are people who have non-profit ideas you know it's time for you to launch that ministry whatever God is telling you to do there are books that are on the inside of the people of God there are blogs that are on the inside of the people of God there are devotionals on the inside of the people of God there are websites to be launched it is time to be about our father's business for the kingdom. And God says, because you take action, because you move when you're supposed to move, there is a divine connection that God is already waiting to serve you in Jesus name. God is going to put you on somebody's mind and you're going to walk in at just the right time, at the right moment, in the right place. If you will begin to move now in the name of Jesus, your a while has already served you. It said in the word of God that it had been perfection. She would have been away for 
seven years, the number of seven, the number of perfection, the number of completion in Jesus' name. And today is July. July. We are in the month of July. And that is the number seven. And I declare completion and perfection. The time of uh, is at hand for you, beloved, to move forward in the things of the Lord and watch him put his blessing upon it. And you're going to get that and then some in Jesus' name. I declare that the blessings of the Lord will make rich and add no sorrow in the name of Jesus. I declare Second Chronicles 16 and 9 over you that the eyes of the Lord are Romans. See, we get stuck. We get stuck on hearing that, you know, the enemy is going through the through the land like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And he is. And he is. But that's okay. I'm looking. I'm, my focus is on Second Chronicles 16 and 9 where the eyes of the Lord, hallelujah, are going throughout the earth, hallelujah, seeing, looking for those whose heart is pure, who he can show himself strong on the behalf of who he can show favor to in Jesus' name, who he can render that and the then some to build his kingdom for the glory of God. Hallelujah. This is the hour. This is the time. And this is the time for you. This is the time of you in Jesus' name. The Bible says, this is the woman. This is you. This is the man of God. This is the person of God. And this is your hour. This is your season for the time of perfection. The time of completion is now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you so much for your word, God. And we declare your word over the lives of your people today in the name of Jesus. That they will understand that this is a moment to be about their father's business. To go forward. To move forward in the things of you you, God, in the name of Jesus. And when they do that, when they follow through, when they obey you, when they hear you, when they move forward, when they launch in the name of Jesus, God, that you are going to send, you're going to send the help that they need. You're going to be speaking well of them. You're going to set up the appointments. You're going to set up the connections that are necessary in this hour that the blessing of the Lord will be released like never before in the name of Jesus or God. There are some that have been up for promotion. I declare that there are promotions that are coming to the people of God because it's important and essential for you to be in position even in the marketplaces or wherever God has you to be in Jesus name hallelujah that you will be able to be a blessing to the people of God in the name of Jesus I declare that you are setting people up Lord God so that they can have the ability to promote the ability to hire in the name of Jesus Lord God that the kingdom of God will be built up like never before in the name of Jesus you are putting your people in places of influence Lord God and you are sending the right help in the, that they need in this hour Lord God to give the instruction so that they don't have to endure more loss that is necessary, Lord God, and that there are some that you are sending them back to the place where they have once been, Lord God, so that they can not only receive that, but the then some so that they can receive the inheritance, the interest, oh God, that is even due even unto them because they did the right thing at the right time. Lord, I decree and I declare that there are people who did uh, who move forward, who bless the people of God, who bless the house of the Lord, who, who did the right thing, who took action, Lord God, who obeyed you, who are a blessing to others. Lord God, that you are going to serve well in this season, Lord God, because of what they did then is going to serve them now in the name of Jesus. You're going to cause it to come back to them. Hallelujah. Blessings pressed down, shaken together and running over will men give unto their bosom, Lord God, not to serve their vision, but to serve yours in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. That you're going to breathe your breath, even on the things that you've laid it to their hands to do in the name of Jesus. And I declare a that and a then some blessing even to their life in Jesus name. There have been some, Lord God, that are like, Lord, just take away the pain. I declare a that and a then some in your health, in your body, in the name of Jesus, that not only is the pain taken away, but you are healed, that you are fully restored, that you are fully functional in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you have just been asking for enough to get by. Some of you just said, hey, listen, can I just get my land back? And the Lord says, not only are you going to get back what's owed to you, but you're going to get that with interest in Jesus name. There's going to be additional that God is going to put on that thing. Hallelujah. That God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus. So you can continue to be a blessing to others for his kingdom, because there are kingdom things that are needed to do that are necessary in this hour. In Jesus name, there are some of you that have been waiting. You've been waiting for a moment. You've been waiting for a time. Listen, this is the moment. This is the hour. This is the season. This is the time in Jesus name. Lord God, I pray. I pray. I believe. I decree and I declare that your people will get to moving Lord in the name of Jesus. They will begin to run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint in the name of Jesus. I declare that there are those who are mounting up with wings as eagles. Lord God, to move forward in the things that you have spoken, that you have called them to do in the mighty 
name of Jesus, Lord God, and you are going to render uh, that and uh, then some blessing in this hour in Jesus' name. That there is power. Hallelujah. They've been calling on the name of the Lord, desiring to be close to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And because their heart has been right, because they wanted to be close to you, not only are you going to do that, Lord, but you are also going to render a then some even unto them in the name of Jesus. There are some you just want to live for Jesus. You're just happy living for Jesus. God says there's going to be a that and then some because he has a call on your life. There is a work for you to do in the name of Jesus. There is anointing that God will have for you so that you can be fully functional and operating in the name of Jesus at another level, at another capacity in whatever arena that God has you in in this hour. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for those, Lord God, that you will cause them to have a vision, Lord God, in whatever arena you have them in, in the name of Jesus, for the seven mountains, hallelujah, that we will be impactful, and that we'll be impacted by the kingdom of God, in the name of Jesus, that we will be a light, even shining in darkness, and because of that, and with that, Lord God, that you will give us favor, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I am praying, I believe, I hear the Lord, even when it came to Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, when they found themselves in a land, in a land that didn't even belong to them, in a land where they were bonded, but they were found themselves favored in Jesus' name. I pray now. Hallelujah. And, I, 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 and not only do I pray, but I hear the Lord says that he is going to cause you to even excel in whatever arena that you find yourself in. He's going to cause you to find favor in the name of Jesus. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I just hear the Lord say even in this hour that he is going to cause you in the name of Jesus to stand above the rest that there is a spirit of excellence that is going to come upon you in the name of Jesus and that it is going to be noticed it is going to be recognized in the name of Jesus hallelujah in every matter God is going to give you wisdom and understanding in the name of Jesus and he is going to cause you to be 10 times better than the rest in the name of Jesus father I thank you in this hour hallelujah that you're going to give us visions you're going to give your people dreams. You said in the last days, you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. So Lord, I feel the glory in the name of Jesus. There are those of you that God is saying he is pouring out his spirit upon you this hour in the name of Jesus to move forward, to go forward in the name of Jesus. You are not what they called you. You are who he birthed you to be. You are who he made you to be. So move in that in the name of Jesus and God is going to cause a favor upon you. He's going to cause a spirit of excellence to come upon you in the name of Jesus, that you will go forward and people are going to recognize. So don't be like, uh, 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 don't get caught up in yourself feeling like you're insignificant and, and all insecure because what are they looking on you? They don't see you. They see the Lord. They see the anointing of God. They see the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The hope of glory is on the inside of you. Father, I thank you for boldness. Hallelujah. That your people of God will be bold as a lion in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that they would be very courageous in the name of Jesus, that upon your word, they will meditate therein day and night in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That they would not have, that they would not be, uh, they would have no fear in Jesus' name, according to Joshua chapter number one. Hallelujah. That they would not be afraid. In the Bible, fear is mentioned over, do not fear, is mentioned over 365 times. Why? That's the if for every day of the year. Lord God, I pray that your people not moved by fear, not be moving in the spirit of fear, Lord God, because you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. So that I declare freedom in the mind today. Hallelujah. In a sound mind. That's also the definition for discipline. Hallelujah. Lord God, that there is a soundness and, and a discipline that you are giving and you're rendering even unto the people of God, that there would be discipline in their thoughts, Lord God, that they would cast down those thoughts and imagination and every high thing that exalted itself, even against the nature of God in Jesus' name. That, 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 that thought that says you can't do it, the thought that makes you feel like you're not sure the devil is a liar in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is going to cause you to be well-versed in this season. Hallelujah. I pray now, God, that even when they open up your 
mouth, that you would fill it in Jesus' name. Lord God, that you would give them the wisdom that they need in this hour. God, I thank you that you will cause them to be chosen, Lord God, and you will cause them to have the favor of the Lord upon them in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you, hallelujah, in this hour, Lord God, that you will esteem them in such a way, Lord God, that not only will it be that, but it will be then some. Lord God, there are some that have been praying, they've been believing you for a job, they've been believing you for employment. Lord God, I declare not even a job, not even employment. Lord God, I speak careers to the people of God, that you will cause them to be blessed beyond measure in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I believe that it is not by accident that you have given us this word. The Bible says in 1 John, hallelujah, that we, if we ask anything according to your name, you hear us. And God, if you hear us, we have whatsoever we ask of you. So Lord, this morning, Lord God, I heard you. You said, and if we ask it according to your will. So if you said that you would give us that and then some, Lord God, it is your will. And so we present your will before you, Lord God. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you are not only going to bless them with the that. They're thinking too small. So Lord, you said in your word in Ephesians 3 and 20, Hallelujah, that you would do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think or even imagine according to the power that worketh in us. So, Lord God, may we be, hallelujah, have a power that's working in us, Lord God, even in a more excellent way, in a greater way. So, Lord, you can even exceed that expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. So, you can go above and beyond that in Jesus' name. There are some of you that you've been praying and believing God for a, a home. You've been believe in God and the Lord of Oshaya. I hear the Lord say you've been thinking too small. You've been looking too small in the name of Jesus. It was two years ago. I believe it was two years ago and, and I was looking for a house within a certain price range and the Lord said go. Go to this open house and I'm like Lord God that the house is double and he said if the Lord says you can have it he'll make a way. Look for him to open up the door because he'll cause a blessing to come upon what is going to be necessary to sustain what he wants to render unto you in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that is for. You've been thinking too small. In the name of Jesus, go big or go home. Hallelujah. Ask for bigger. Ask for greater. Believe bigger. Believe greater in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he wish uh, uh, above all things that you will prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. So Lord, let our souls prosper in you. Hallelujah. Let our spirit man prosper in you because we love your word and we read your word, God, and we pray unto you. We meditate on it day and night in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we promise, Lord God, that we will show forth your praise and your honor and your glory and give you the glory and the honor that is due even unto your name in the name of Jesus. There are some of you and you are just like, you know, you, you don't, you, you're overqualified for the jobs that you're paying for, you, that you've been applying for. That's why you can't get what you thought that you wanted to get because God says it's time. I, I have what I have for you that is bigger than what you have been believing before. You, what I have for you is bigger than what you've minimized yourself for. And so you are and you're believing for a level which your position is not there. It's time to come on up a little higher. Lord, I thank you that you are raising the hope. You're raising the belief. You're raising the faith of your people. In Jesus' name, you've been just like, God, if you just let me be okay in this moment. And God says, I don't even want just healing for you, but I want to heal you in such a way. I want to move in you in such a way that when you are converted, hallelujah, you'll go back and strengthen your brethren in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you are healed, when you are whole, that you will go back and make the difference even in your family in the name of Jesus. So, Father, may we think bigger. May we believe bigger in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I believe. Believe, decree and declare there are some of you want a man want a man want a man man a mighty good man and you have been settling you've been settling and that's the reason why that man won't ask you to marry you because he's not your husband anyway I don't know who that is for but it's time to cut the ties in the Mashaya. in the name of Jesus there are some of you who have been settling even in your relationships and God says that is not who I have for you and so if you will ask me ask me for what I want for you I'm gonna exceed your very expectation even in day even in a real even in marriage saith the Lord because there are kingdom couples that he has united in this hour because there's kingdom business to be done in Jesus name so father may we believe bigger may we ask bigger there are some you're just like long as um long long as long as he treat me nice and God says I have so much greater you just want a man because he goes to work and God says I, I have a man of God for you some of you men you know you've been trying to find this and that 
that. And God says, if you just wait on me and you ask me what I have for you in Jesus name, I'll bless you with that. And then some, somebody who will honor you, someone who will honor you. May we see God, what you see for our lives in the name of Jesus. May we believe what you have for our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord God, may we receive that which you have for us in Jesus name. You're like, God, if you just do this and he's like, I have so much greater. Lord God, may we be open to you expanding our hope, expanding our faith, expanding our belief. There are some of you and God has put a dream. He's put a dream for ministry even in your heart and you're looking at this level and, and that's wonderful that you witness to people and you're believing and God says, I want you on the radio. God says, I want you on TV. God says, I've called you to the nations. Hallelujah. God says, I have so much greater for you and you won't pass go. God, I pray now God for the fire of God to hit your people that it will hit your people their feet in Jesus name. Lord God, that you will open up the eyes. I pray that the, oh, the eyes of their understanding be open and enlightened in the name of Jesus by the power of almighty God. Lord God, that they would not settle in this season and this hour because not only do you desire to give them that, but the then some in Jesus name. Imagine had the woman uh, continued to remain in the land of the Philistines. Hallelujah. But she would have missed her moment where Gehazi was already there. It was already set up. There were already talking about what Elijah had done. It was already the open door for the men to ask her, tell me all about it and then assign somebody to her case. Lord, may they be running in the feet of the person of God. There's somebody who's supposed to go and do something today. You are supposed to go and begin, hallelujah, even today in the name of Jesus. And and, 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 the, and the setup was already there. Imagine if she would not have left from where she was and to where she needed to be. Lord God, cause your people to hear the voice of the Lord in this hour. Lord God, to move and to go to the place where they're supposed to be because there is a connection. There is a divine anointing for them. Even now in the name of Jesus, you've already put them on somebody's heart and mind, Lord God. And it's a setup. It's a setup for a come up. Lord God, I thank you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And and so uh, the blessing is even in the story as we read the word of God, as we read the the word of God. Hallelujah. It's not just a story. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. As we read this account in the word of God that she didn't have to endure the hardness of the famine. Hallelujah. God was able to take care of her in another land that didn't even belong to her. And God is able to do, to have taken care of you and to take care of you even in a land that they should have said was your enemies, but God allowed you. He spared you. Oh, Oh my God today. You thought you were just being sent away. You thought that you know it was horrible how things went down and God says that I was preparing you. I was taking care of you. I didn't allow them to be attached to you because I was sparing you from the hardship. But now this is the hour. Now the time of uh, it, your a while has been it has been satisfied in Jesus name. Your perfection, your time of completion has been settled. It has been satisfied in the name of Jesus and now is your hour. Hallelujah that you will return and that not only will you you get back that and that this old you that it belongs to you that, that is rightfully yours but the and then some the interest hallelujah in Jesus name God says I'm going to put an and then some some interest on top of your blessing what he has for you in the name of Jesus but one of the things she had to do, they didn't come to the land of the Philistines to give it to her. She had to move. And when you hear God move in Jesus name, hallelujah. And when she went, that's when she was able to get her blessing. Lord God, may you cause your people, Lord God, to hear the voice of the Lord and begin to move, Lord God, so that they can be at the right place, Lord God, for you to release the blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are some of you that God showed you and you're like, okay, and, and you don't see it yet. So you're believing this down the road and God says, no, that's for right now. That's for this hour. That is for this season. In Jesus name, it's time to believe him on a whole nother level and watch God come through in Jesus name. Lord God, I pray for those Lord God that say, I believe they say, I trust you, God, Lord, I know that you can do it, but they don't believe in the now God. I pray for now faith, Lord God, I pray for now faith that they will believe you even in the now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. So it's time for you to move your feet in Jesus name. You believe in God. You know, God can do it. 
it. It's time for you to do the works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God can breathe on it like never before in the name of Jesus. Even the man, the man with the son, the man who with the son who was demon possessed. And he said, Jesus, I do believe. Help my unbelief. There are those, Lord God, and they believe you, but they've struggled with doubt. They've been let down so many times and they're like, you know what? I, I know it was said before or they feel different, di different emotions or God, and they've been doubting Lord God. Hallelujah. I pray that you would speak to that unbelief right now in the name of Jesus or God, that you would cause for it to be removed now in the name of Jesus to God, that you would cause him. Hallelujah. To be reminded of every time that you came through every time that you made a way Lord God, that you never failed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that you will cause their belief to be bigger, to grow bigger in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they will begin to see the miracle signs and wonders and accounts of everything that you've done, Lord God, that they will believe you. Hallelujah. In this hour, not just for everybody else, but believe what you're going to do for them. Believe what you're going to cause them make happen even in their life in Jesus' name. Lord God, I come against the spirit of unbelief, the spirit of disbelief, the spirit of, uh, of not believing that it's for everybody else, but God, you have something special for your people. Hallelujah. And you're going to do that and you're going to do the end in some in Jesus name God it says hallelujah don't just believe in the name of Jesus some of you are like Lord if they would just come off those drugs Lord if they would just uh, stop drinking Lord God if they would just stop this God says you're asking too small baby you asking too small baby Lord God I thank you this hour Lord God I thank you that you're going to deliver those from drugs you're going to deliver those from alcoholism you're going to deliver those and not only delivering them but you're going to cause them oh God to receive you Lord God I even pray pray now for divine setups or God that you will have people to minister that will speak that will even witness to uh, uh, the family members right now in the name of Jesus that people will come running asking what must I do to be saved Lord God I thank you that you will deliver those off of drugs and different addictions oh God the uh, popping pills Lord God you will deliver them from that Lord God you will even cause those to come off alcohol in the name of Jesus Lord God and not only that but Lord God that they would be functional hallelujah not just functional Lord God but they would do uh, even greater exploits than you father in the name of Jesus because they will receive you and they will begin to walk in purpose. They will begin to walk in destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm believing that somebody's son, not only will he come off the streets, not only will he stop gang banging, not only will he come off of those drugs, Lord God, but you will cause him, Lord God, to live a life for you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm believing you already. Hallelujah, that you already have a spouse that is set up for them in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you will cause them, hallelujah, to find gainful employment and Lord God, you will cause them to be blessed beyond measure in the name of Jesus. You said in your word that you will give seed to the sower. So Lord, we will be faithful with what you put at our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you. Hallelujah for the favor that you're going to bring to the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, we thank you this hour and this moment. Hallelujah. We pray and we believe you, Father God. Lord God, I thank you for those that you're going to come to cause them to come out of out of pain, Lord God, and not only just come out of pain, but you're going to cause them, oh God, hallelujah, to restore divine health even to their body in the name of Jesus like never before. Hallelujah. Even as this says on the moment, Lord God, you are causing them, oh God, to move in the moment. Hallelujah. Amen because you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask, think, or imagine, Lord God, you can do more in a moment than we, than we can work towards in a lifetime. So Lord God, I thank you for favor in this hour. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are going to literally blow our mind with what you're going to do because we laid hold of the word of the God, a God that said, move in this hour. It's time for you to move in Jesus name. That's what the woman did. She said, it's time for me to get up and go get what's mine. Hallelujah. And there are some of you, you've been waiting. You've been wondering, is it time? Yeah, God says it's time. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to trust him and watch him work in your life in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus and God is going to send you the right help. Just like the king had ordered somebody to be assigned to this woman's case. He is going to assign that which you need in this hour in Jesus name. No, it may not be people that you had in times past. God says help is already on the way and it cometh forth speedily. So now is the time for you to get up in Jesus name and watch God work in your life hallelujah so you can receive the that and the then some maybe I haven't called out your that and your then some hallelujah whatever your that and then some is now is the time for you to believe God out of your own mouth speak to your situation out of your own mouth hallelujah you think it too small beloved you think in too small beloved in Jesus name hallelujah I pray that you would speak that thing hallelujah speak those things that be not even as though they were already hallelujah you know what you've been trusting God for there's somebody your womb has been bearing this is 
has been on my mind. It keeps hitting me. And, and you're like, God, you know, I just want to be okay. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray for divine healing right now of endometriosis in Jesus' name. There are those that, and, and they said you you would not be able to, uh, um, you would not be able to get pregnant. Lord God, I pray that you would send the right, hallelujah, the in the name of Jesus, Lord God, hallelujah, I believe God for the opening of the womb in the name of Jesus, no longer barren in Jesus' name, hallelujah, even the Shunammite woman, at one point she was barren, hallelujah, but the man of God announced that at this time next year, you will be with child, hallelujah, you will have a child, and that happened in Jesus' name, Lord God, not only do I speak, Lord God, that barren womb, Lord God, God, hallelujah, that you're going to open them up as a sign to you, oh God, even for who this word is for. I see, oh Ramasha, Konoboshaya, in the name of Jesus. I see a baby in the womb right now already, in Jesus' name. I can see it like an ultrasound picture. I see the head, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah, that you are going to cause that mother, that woman, hallelujah, yes, because you're a mother already, you're going to cause them, oh God, hallelujah, to be impregnated and give birth in Jesus' name, as it's already in the womb, it's already in your womb, hallelujah, and not only that, but the woman of God, the Shunammite woman, not only did she was she able to then give birth, but then when her son died, hallelujah, the prophet raised her child to life, God says that there are some things that have been dead in your life, hallelujah, and those things, hallelujah, when you have the right connection, uh, she declared all is well, all is well, and that thing was raised to life. There are some things that have been in your life that seem like they've died off, but God said that this is the hour that he is going to resurrect the right things in your life. Hallelujah. Not for everything to be resurrected. Hello, somebody. When he spoke to Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come forth. But the right things, hallelujah, that, 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 that it wasn't the season for it to happen like that. It wasn't the season for it to happen like that. But God is going to speak resurrection in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And then that same woman, that same woman, she was warned when there was going to be a famine. And when she came back, hallelujah, when that time of complete and that time had come, that time of perfection, that seven years was finished. Hallelujah. And many of you, I came to make the announcement that the time has finished. It's time for you to move forward so you can see the hand of God in your life. Hallelujah. Move and bring into you not only what belonged to you, but the extras. The woman just came for her land. She just came for her house. And not only did she get her land, not only did she get her house, but she also got the interest, whatever. It said, give her back everything that belonged to her, including all the income from her land. From the day she left the country, even until now, I believe God for the, and then some blessing in your life. In Jesus name, Father, we give you glory and we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I thank you that your people will be made, that they, they, they will be made perfect even in their weakness, oh God, that they will believe you on a whole nother level. Lord God, I thank you that you are causing your people to be 10 times better in the name of Jesus than, than those that have been around them. Lord God, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your supernatural mercy. Lord God, I thank you right now for the wisdom and the understanding, Lord God, that you're going to give your people. I thank you for the strategies, for the breakthrough, for the businesses that you're going to cause them to launch. Lord God, the ministries, oh God, that they're going to move forward in. And Jesus, Jesus name. I thank you for the boldness and the courageousness, Lord God, that they are going to get up and they are going to move right now and the help is already on the way. In Jesus name we pray and we believe, decree and declare. It is so. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Beloved, I love you with the love of the Lord. I am so excited for what God is doing. Hallelujah. Not just for me, but what he's going to do for you. Now is the time for you to open up your mouth. Open it wide and decree and declare the word of the Lord over your life because there is anointing for it in this hour in Jesus' name. And it is so. Hallelujah. Don't forget that our daily Bible reading as we read the Bible every day for a year. Hallelujah. This year we're reading it in chronological order and uh, you can find it on the Bible study tool app and uh, today our daily Bible reading day number 192 is coming from Amos chapter number one through chapter number five faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God we must be diligent stewards of his word hallelujah and you will see God begin to speak to you you will see that begin to take root and it is going to bring forth fruit in your life I decree and declare and so today uh, uh, we're reading chapters um, one through five of the book of Amos I know a lot of y'all may not even heard of that but watch God put a blessing on it in Jesus 
Jesus' name. I love you, beloved. You be blessed. Have a great, good, and godly day. Don't let your day dominate you, but you choose to dominate your day. May you be a glory carrier. May you realize that you are an atmosphere shaker. You are an atmosphere mover. You are a glory carrier. You've come to shift and shake up atmosphere. Hallelujah. And I speak blessing upon you. It's not going to be the same as it was before. You are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I love you, beloved. You be blessed, and we'll join you upon tomorrow. God bless you.